I want to go over how to find uh, standard deviation and variance on your TI um, in case you're using that method. Um, so to do that, first of all, you would need to input your data. So you would go to stat, edit, and you can see here is the football player data we were using in 3.1. So I'm just going to reuse that, but you would enter it where you want it to. And obviously, you can add more if you had a second set and wanted to add it to list two. You could totally do that. So I'm going to quit out of here, so second mode to quit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stat, I'm going to go over to calc, and I'm going to do my one, variant, my one variable statistics, and I'm going to go to calculate. And you can see here, there's our x bar, but this, this s looks like this fancy sx, this 43.85. This is our uh, sample standard deviation. This one down here with the funny looking, that's the population one. We don't want the population one because we didn't have the full population. We had a sample. So you want this S one. So you want SX, this one, 43.9, is your sample standard deviation. This one down here wouldn't apply to this one, but it always gives you both. Now you'll notice here if you did it gives you min and max, so if you need to find range right there, you could subtract those to find range. You'll notice that variance isn't on here. You have two choices. So I'm going to exit out of here. Choice one, well, okay, you have three. Choice one would have been to write down the sample standard deviation. And then just simply uh, the variance is you square the answer. So there is the variance, okay? It's 43.9 squared. You can also go here to VARS, variables. You go down to statistics. If you come down here and you find this, this is the sample standard deviations. If I click on this, there's that exact value. So I don't have to write it down. And then I could have squared it, and I could have done it that way, okay? So we're at method two. Method three, if you go to the catalog, so I'm going to go to the catalog, which is down here. You can see it above the zero. I'm going to go to second zero, and this brings up the catalog. I need to get all the way down to the Vs. So I'm going to hit alpha, and then I'm going to hit the V, which is the six. Alpha, come on. You can do it. There we go. And right here is variance. And then I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go to my list. I'm going to pick the list I want. And there, again is the exact same answer. I don't know why variance, I couldn't find any of the menus. Maybe it's one of them. I couldn't find it. And most uh, help sites I was looking at had you um, either write it down, they had you do the squared method. So there's three methods for finding variance. But once you have the sample standard deviation, the variance is super easy to get because it's, it's literally just squaring it. Um, and you can do it on your regular calculator without any, you know, you could have just as said, done it by hand like I did once you wrote it down. So hopefully this helps you, gives you some more options if you want to use the TI for some of this. As I've mentioned before, I think Excel is the better choice for big data sets, but for small ones, uh, the TI is fast and convenient.